I feel like the world is the dirt beneath my feet And I feel in this world we can do anything Do you know what today is? Do you know what today is? Today is May 4th And you know what that means? Well for one thing is Star Wars Day but that's not what I'm talking about. Today is my birthday. So, hello YouTube, it's the True More 64 back with another video. And today, first off, today it's my birthday. I like to point that out again. But today, I'm sitting right there. You know what this video is about? Maybe because you clicked on the video. But, I got more back again. So, I got these from my mom and my brother. So, yay. One thing is I have not opened a big back again battle pack before, so I'll be doing that in this video. And also, I got, I found, well, 10... Well, hold on, let me explain. So, yesterday, we were out, well, my mom and I were out birthday shopping, because she, most of the time, doesn't know what I want, or, like, what I have, in terms of, like, background or Pokemon cards. Well, Pokemon cards, I can easily get duplicates. It, like, that's fine. That's totally fine. I mean, sometimes it's fine if I get duplicates of background. But, uh, eh, I mean, I, I see the Power Fangs and I already have one, so, eh, it's alright. But yeah, she doesn't know what I want, like, in terms of, like, background or Pokemon cards or anything like that. So, I had to go and help her. Not, like, I basically picked out the ones I wanted, and, like, and then had to leave the leave the aisle, and she choose the ones to get me. So apparently she got me these two. And but like the Dragonoid, well Dragonoid Ultra was like the one I told her I definitely want this. That is, this is absolutely one of the definite ones I want you to get me. So yeah, anyway, with all that being said, let's get into the opening. Now, well, actually before I do, I just want to say thank you, Mom and Josh, for getting me this. So, yes, thank you. Anyway, let's get into, what? Well, actually, before I get into the video, I'll start out with this. But I want to go grab some scissors. Because I forgot those. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, and I got scissors. So, let's start out with Ultra Dragonoid. Oh, yeah. And also, when I, when I was at Walmart, they did finally restock the Bakugan. So, yay. Anyway, let's... Get this open. And also another thing that I saw at Walmart was they had the Morpher from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. And I got that in a figure because the figures have the keys. And that's why the uh, Morphers are over here. So I'll just pull that up real quick. See, I got it. I got it. Now Walmart did have like some of the figures beforehand and they didn't have the more but they didn't have the morpher so and I kinda wanted to get the morpher before and like when I get the figures. So yeah. But yeah that will definitely be reviewed one day. Of course I got a bit of a backlog. Like Power Rangers Ninja Steel stuff. So yeah, 
Anyway, here are the, well, there's a manual slash list of Bakugan. And they do have a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to crash some of it. Cross some of this stuff off my list that I have. I gotta use this one, actually. Anyway, uh, here are the cards. Throw trash in the bag. We have Dragonoid Ultra. The B power is 500 and Damage is 5, so pretty balanced. And it does take a shield core and flaming fist core. So, yeah. And then the second card is Implosion. Destroy an enemy energy card. Fury, if you have no cards in hand, destroy two energy cards instead. Hmm. And it is a rare. Not sure if you can see that. Right there. Right there. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get the instructions up there just so I can have them ready. And then, the cores. Fashion bag. We have shield core that is plus 650 B power, which is pretty powerful. And then a flaming fist core with 250 B power. So yeah, now ah, trash and bag. Now this what will be my new guardian back again. As uh, soon as I get, no, uh, there we go. Pretty cool, if I say so myself. So yeah. So yeah. Pretty cool. Whoa. This thing has a lot more pressure than, than I thought it would. But I think it kind of needs to, because it, in order to make it bounce off. So, yeah. Anyway. I am going to figure out how to close this, so, and when I do, I will teach you guys how to close it. Okay. Okay. Got it. I got that. And dropped it. Got all closed. Kind of wasn't too bad, actually. Now, let's roll this. Back again, bro. Back again, bro. Dang it. Back again, bro. Dang it. Back again. Nope. Damn. Come on. Come on. Hug. Come on. Oh my goodness. Why is this not working? Yay, finally! Find it. That held on to the core. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Okay. Bro, like, come on. Back, back on, bro. Ah, come on. Come on. Back on, bro. Okay. Back up. Okay, it's not holding on to the cores for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. It does open. It does open. But it's not holding on to the cores. Well, it does. So, yeah. 
Anyway, let me show you guys how to close it. So, basically, you gotta fold the legs up like that. Oh yeah, make sure the little hands uh, right here are folded back if they aren't already. But anyway, fold the feet in like that and the legs like that. Head goes down, what goes in, then the tail wraps around like that. Then wrap, make sure, make sure, make sure that part is like that. Then close up the wings like that, and then close in this jet piece and like that so yeah there we go and that was ultra dragonoid okay now let's get into this so we have darkest darkest cindius and subterra trox Ultra. Well, those are ultras, by the way. But yeah. Now, one thing is, I still haven't found Ventus Ultra Trox. Ultrax Ultra. However you say it. But yeah, I still haven't found Ventus Trox Ultra. And that is one that I really want. But, till now, I'm gonna have to get by with the Soterra Trox. Uh, that cardboard there and right here are fake cards oh looks like somebody has a twist tie and then and this right here are the real ones so yeah Drop those. Don't drop the ultras. Here are all the cores. Let me show show this off. We have a green fist that is 100 B power, and for Ventus and Chaos, it's plus three damage. We have another green fist, fist 100 B plus 100 B power, and for Pyrus and Chaos, it is plus three damage. And I think it's the same kind, just Pirates and uh, Ventus. We have a shield that is minus 100 B power. Right, I should probably show off the back. And also, here are the backs for those two. We have minus 200 B power. Well, DNA, that's minus 200 B power at plus 5 damage. We have plus 150 B power, plus 1 damage for, well, from a shield, well, a red shield. Right there. We have a green fist that is plus 2 damage. Right there. Another DNA, plus 300 B power, plus 3, well, plus 3 damage. Right there. Another shield. Red shield. Plus 150 B power. Nothing else. Like that. DNA. Minus 300 B power. Minus 1. So a good trap. Then we got a, for the last one, a red shield. Plus 200 B power. Like that. So that is all the cores. Take a look at the cards. Go trash and bag. Here are the instruction manuals for those two, and the how to play guide for cards. We got Subterra Trox Ultra, B power is 800, that's pretty good, but only a damage of 1, which is pretty good. And I'm more of a B power guy than damage, or balanced, 
receiver bounce or more B power, then I'm good with that. We have a Cyndius Ultra, well, that's Darkus, plus 300, 300 B power and 1 damage. And it has an ability, Victor, your opponent discards a card. Hmm. We have a Tetonium. An Aquas Tetonium. With 500 B power and 2 damage. And it has an ability, if it lands on a shield, plus 2 Snowflake, which I have no idea what that, what that does. If someone knows, let me know, but I might have to look that up. We have a Ventus Mantanoid, which the uh, core, which is pretty cool because now I have a Ventus Mantanoid Ultra and a Vent and then a regular Vent Ventus Mantanoid Pyrus Fangzor. We've already seen that. And for cards, we ha have Molten Helix, Repel Pyrus. Repel Ventus, Aqua Shield, wait, what does that Molten Helix do? Okay, the Molten Helix does plus two damage and a symbol with two meteors. I have no idea what that does. Again, have to look up. And an Aqua Shield, plus 200 B power, if Aquas draw a card, and Smoke Armor, plus 500 B power. Okay. There we go. Now, let's get the Bakugan out. Let's take that out. Okay, this is gonna be pretty hard. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Usually the starter packs of what well, with these, well, with the, with like, the clothes, all things like that usually tend to be very hard to get out that one wasn't so difficult okay there there's this one ventus and there's aquas tetonium there's that then let me get the scissors which are placed right here and there's a ah, there's a little thing that right there that I need to cut. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I will cut that. Cut that. There we go. And here's Darkest Cyndius and here's Trox well Subterra Trox Ultra. Okay. So I am going to figure out how to close the ultras before we take a closer look at them. Okay, so got all the background closed and the hive matrix all set up. So let's just start with something that we've already seen, Pyrus Fangzor, and I'm just gonna pop it on. So yeah, nothing to special there. I've already seen it here on the channel before. So, yeah. You know, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with the, my duplicates. Because I got like four now, I think. I got second Pyrus Dragnoid, uh, second Darkest Nilius, uh, second Subterra Nilius, and now a second Fangzor. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do with those. Now, on to this next one I haven't seen. Let's roll it. Back again. Roll. Back on sand. Ventus Mantanoid Core. Pretty cool. Now, this one is a mold that I never even owned at all. Bakugan Crawl. Bakugan Sand. Hmm. Pretty cool. You know, Tritonium kind of 
Reminds me of Juggernoid, right? That's what it is. You know, from the first Bakugan season. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go on to the Ultras. Subterra Trucks. And, like, after I roll it, I will show you how to close it. Back again, crawl. Back again, sand. Yeah, that, that is pretty cool. I mean, if it stood on its feet, then yeah, I would definitely enjoy that. But, like, it is holding the core with its chin, it seems. But I think that's, like, the closest I can get to, like, having it hold in the mouth. So, yeah. So, yeah, let me show you guys how to close it. Also, the tiny little arms gotta come out like that. So it's rawr. That's what it, the full looks, full look of it looks like with the core. Rawr. Rawr. Anyway, let me show you how to close it. Pretty simple. You want to fold in the arms. On the tiny little dino arms, then fold in both of the feet. Then you want to spin the whole middle section around to stops like that. Then you want to fold in the tail like so. And then lastly, the head goes like that. So yeah. And then, darkest, uh, what's the name? Darkest Cindius. Uh, how do you roll it? Okay. Okay. Looks like the wheel is more... Looks like the wheel is like down that line. Not this line like they're suggesting. Yeah. I mean there's like a small wheel but like... Like where it kind of curves but like there's more of a wheel along this line. But yeah, like, I don't know why they're suggesting that th that's the wheel, because it's not wheel-like. I'm just going to roll it, like, on the wheel, because that's where it makes sense. Back again, bro. Back again, stand. And that, that is pretty cool is on the shield of it like that so yeah pretty cool now to close it you just fold up all the legs like so Ah, come on. Alright, actually, close up the front legs first, then push the top part down. Actually, I'm not sure if you can see that clearly. Uh, there. Push the center leg, well, center down like so, then this back leg, like that, then Fold up the blade, and then, like that. Then the head goes in, and then the shield, like that. So, yeah. So, yeah. That is gonna be it for this video. This is a pretty good haul of Bakugan. Thanks, Mom and Josh, for getting these for my birthday. Definitely enjoy them. And... Yeah, so, also, 
Dragonoid is gonna be my new background. Oh wait, before I go, actually. Okay, yeah, that that literally knocked the core right off. So yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later. And also, may the fourth be with you.